G'day, how you going? Egan Harris from Australia here. We're going to do our painting today. And as we said in our previous video, we're going to do that moon setting over some land waterscape with some perspective. And we're going to do it on our canvas, 45 centimetres by 60 centimetres, okay? So, um, and there's a lot of people to thank in this one as well as we get on our way. There's like Judy, Troy, Chris, Yasmin, Michael, Connie, Alan, just to name a few. But anyway, let's get painting. Okay, let's get started. I've got my water bottle. I'm going to wet it. We're doing this in acrylic. And the paints are going to be very well retarded down as well now i've got my blues mixed up you probably can't see them over here so quite a lot of retarder in this paint now i'm gonna just paint this board white and that retarder is going to keep paint wet instead of it drying out as acrylics dry out very quick like oils you get weeks for them to dry now this is that painting I put on Facebook I wanted suggestions and a lot of you friends gave suggestions like see I'm even putting more retarder on there to keep this wet because I want it wet now we gave a lot of suggestions and people come up with waterfalls and water and a moon and landscape and moon and all sorts of ideas, so I put a lot of it together and we come up with the moon, okay? I'm going to use our ultramarine blue uh, from the middle. Okay, just like so. And I want to fade it down to nothing. I'm going over this just to blend it. Okay, Judy Henderson, she was thinking of an idea to give me, she didn't know what to, but she never came back with an idea, but we're mentioning Judy anyway. Okay, now we've got our ultramarine blue, and we're going to come from here. And bring that up to nothing. Get some more on there. Bring it up to nothing and then blend it and I want to bring that up into that purple, blend it. Well not that purple, that ultramarine, it's gone purple because we've got white on the board. But anyway, purple violet, I'm going to start from the top and come down. some more on there and I'm going to bring that down into the this color here so it'll slowly Now that's our sky. Now I want to. I want some edges a bit darker than to really. So I want about over here. Because what we're trying to do here is create the sky going into space colours. Okay. Just about... Just 
Okay, now I'm going to grab my fan brush and grab some of the white. And we want to put in that um, bit of a smoke space cloud sort of stuff over here. Space, smoky mist sort of stuff. Probably over to where the moon's going to be somewhere. Like that. And we've got to feather this now, make it sort of like, not a cloud. I'll get rid of all those heavy dobs first. Like so. And now we want to make this, if anything, sort of like a misty looking object, like smoke. Connie Bissett Cult wanted a water for. Well, we got water in this Connie, but it's not a water for. Most people wanted a moon waterscape or landscape so that's why we're gone for this design angel Versace wanted a, a nude with this and because i know my moon's going to be there so that's pretty much it it's just some sort of space cloud what, what were they called that's what the milky way is in you know yeah, we'll call them space clouds and mist. Anyway, that's all right. That's looking good. Now I'm going to blow dry this because I've cut out a piece of paper for the moon. Got me household sponge. Now I've got a dark medium and a light grey. So remember, I like my moon evaporating in the sky. Oh, see that little stamping effect? That's what you don't want. I'll make that mistake. Just to give this moon some dimension. See, I'm bringing this medium not all the way over it, just <sighs> so we still got some of that dark there. Now I've got the lighter tone grey in here. Like so, and probably a touch. So long as he's got those different colours in there. Now let's have a look at that. <coughs> I'm happy with that. So Troy Terry, he mentioned a moonscape. So Troy, here we go for our choppy row of clouds. And as you all know, if you're happy and you know it, you paint a cloud. So I've just got my fan brush, nothing great, nothing, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, I'm not that great at clouds, but just something to indicate some. Now I'm gonna clean that brush, or wipe it actually, and pick up my white paint again. I might fade away over the edge here like so. Just like so. Now what we're going to do, we're going to blend blend that down into the horizon line. And 
just let nature take its course and let it happen on its own. I'm happy the way this is turning out. How's that looking, cobbers? And now we'll create the layers over that. See, just, just creating the dimensional layers. And then we'll quickly lay that down. Yeah, Ingrid Palmer wanted a, a moon wave. Well, we've got our moon, Ingrid, but no wave. This, people wanted a seascape landscape, so I'm going to do a, like a, a waterscape. See, there's texture in that cloud. It's not just a one-layered surface layer of clouds. We've got what we've achieved. Just see, I'm just shaking my hand. Oh, God, I'm nervous. And it creates a nature-looking cloud. So... So it's picked up some of the purple underneath and the blues, created depth in that cloud. Okay, there's our choppy row of clouds. Okay, now we need some sort of reflection here. So we're gonna grab probably the white mixed up with the light gray tone. I've just put that on my brush. And see here, so we're gonna sort of just Get him there like that. That'll do it, man. Grab your brush. We'll pull that down. Now, get some more paint on there again. And just keep going till you're happy with it. Get some more on there. Now, we're going to... Get some darkness into this water. Just so it's not one tone. A blending brush just to blend it. Yay, the water's starting to happen on the water surface. All right, we're going to start with the horizon line with the hills and that. So I'm going to start off with a, a lighter colour. Probably somewhere from the middle. Give him some texture. Don't worry, I'll put them whites. Now we'll do the other side. All right, we'll come across the other side now. So these mountains are sort of coming this way. We can go higher than there. Get something way over here. Chris Bush now, he wanted a Still life, Yasmin Said. She wanted a knife. She wanted something like a knife seascape. Well, we're getting somewhere with this, I suppose. Alan Al Abdalalat. 
He wanted a technical one. He wanted an employee or something having a drink in a bar looking like he was really worn out. All right. We'll just get this final row on here. Any old way I'll do it. Judy Boy at Tennisley. How you going, Judy? Thanks for helping us decide what painting we're going to paint today on this YouTube video. Tammy S. Davies. Thank you, Tammy. Now we're going to bring this down as well. Bush. Right, we've got our darker phalo blue again. We're going to sink some of those mountain hill shadows into the water again like so i'm going to put some moonlight on the side of those hills all right so let's just pick out some which need a bit of blend them in a bit soften them up Also, we'll get some of the white again, and we'll just intensify some of the reflection of the moon back here. Okay, I'm too scared to use a knife. I use a little fan brush, and I've got it chiseled. I've got the paint chiseled on there. <coughs> and this is going to give us normally those lines that we knife on. I want to blend them, you don't want them looking too yucky poop. Blend the yucky ones. Okay, we'll do our foreground here now. I'm just going to use violet purple. I don't want to use direct black. Work out where we want to go. Keep it wet. A bit of a highlight in it, eh? So let's get some highlights in there. And then quickly grab the fan brush and Push it all up. Get some of that in the foreground. I mean the background. Highlighted. <clears throat> Goodness me. Didn't have enough coffee this morning. Yeah, yeah, I like painting. Yeah, if you like painting, you say yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. Because what I want to do now. Okay, I'm just using black now, just for the darker bits over those. Joyce Haycox, she wanted something with perspective. Well, I hope the perspective in this is all right, Joyce. If it's not, tell everyone. Kent Harkins, he wanted the Queen Elizabeth. Now, we're going to put a, a dead tree here. Okay, doing a bit of a Len Hen trick here. We've got dark on one side of the brush and the lighter on the other side because we're going to do our tree now so our moon's there so we want the highlight on the right side and as you twist it twist it up now we'll get more on and that's sort of given you a bit of a highlighted marbly tree as it is Flip the bottom back up again just to okay I'll use my thick script liner and we'll put some branches out here twisting it as I go just so I can get a beautiful sharp edge Ingrid Pullman how you going Ingrid she suggested 
What did you suggest, Ingrid? Oh, you wanted a wave and a moon as well. I thought, sometimes I might mention people twice, but that doesn't matter. Marie Strickland Quinn. See, I'm going to put, I'm trying to get these darks over the lights. Linda Olin, she wanted, she came up with many picture ideas, so we've got a lot of many picture ideas in this, Linda. Ray Golf Webb, he wanted a portrait. Well, this is a portrait of nature. How's that, Ray? Good to see and hear from you, Ray. Kent Harkins, yeah, we said him. Kathleen Eve Kelly. Spice Bling Arthur, she's another good friend. Let's put some dead stuff there, broken. And... Sally Wilson. Dina Brackett Kelly. How are you, Dina? Ian Harris here saying hello to you. Connie Bissett Culp. All right, we'll put some stars in the sky. I'm just using my smallest brush that I find appropriate. Some of them are different sizes. There's some in here. Let's see how that's going so far, eh? How you going, Ned Baker? Ian Harris here saying g'day to you, Cobber. If you like this painting, don't click like. Just say thank you to all the friends that helped me with it. Connie Bissett Culp and Ned Baker and Troy Terry, Yasmin Saad, Tammy S. Davis, Joyce Haycox. Alrighty, that's pretty much our painting, eh? Let's hope you've enjoyed that. I think it's got perspective, it's got the moon and everything, it's got some stars twinkling in the sky, a couple of dead trees, yeah. So once again, we've got to thank everybody, Judy Henderson, Troy Terry, Chris Busnell, Yasmin Saad, Michael Capers, Connie Bissett Culp, Allah Al Adalalat, Judy Boyett Tennisley, uh, Tanya S. Davis, Janelle Cookson, she wanted a wave, Chloe Carter, she wanted a storm, sea or a lighthouse. Joyce Haycox, Angel Fasachi, Ingrid Polman, Marie Strickland Quinn, uh, Ray Golf Webb, he wanted a portrait, Kent Harkins, Kathleen Eve Kelly, Spice Bling Arthur, Pamela S. Urban, Sally Wilson, Dina Braquette Kelly. So, anyway, I hope you like this painting. If you do, good on you. If you don't, tell everybody. Goodbye, good luck, and good on you. And remember, your last brush stroke will never be your last. Uruk.